TGR News, broadcasting from the State of Israel. Welcome back to TGR News. Hello, hello. Well, this week we're going to talk about something that happened in uh, Turkey. Seemed looked like a scene from a James Bond movie, the way uh, is, uh, Israeli uh, intelligence uh, extracted a, 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 an average Israeli family on holiday to stop a, uh, a, a terrorist attack over there, and uh, many other things. But first of all, let's, uh, let's do what's most important, is thanking you guys. Thank you so much for being able, giving us the ability to, uh, to be able to uh, help all the people here that we're helping in the state of Israel, feeding the people that need it so bad. And it's all because of you guys. Every week, every week we talk about it because every week we give it to them and every week they say thank you and every week we say thank you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, uh, it's an amazing thing. And last week we talked about how we want to expand. And, uh, and it's not a question. I know what's going to happen. It's not a matter of if. It's just a matter of when. Uh, so uh, so we, uh, we're, we're blessed to be able to bless the people here in Israel. And, and God bless you. And thank yes. you so much. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, uh, it really is a special thing. Every week it's... Uh, it's, a, it's one of the biggest parts of our lives, I think, you, this, this, this uh, feeding the people here that are so desperately needed. Yeah. Well, I say we get into it. What do you yeah. say? Let's start. At the beginning of this week, two police officers were attacked and lynched in East Jerusalem. They were nearly killed when the Arabs destroyed their car and beat them, then took their guns. Yeah, it was at nighttime. We saw the video footage of that where the, the cops were driving around in East Jerusalem. This is Israel, right? Or the, in the police cops. But they were not in the police car. They were in a, a like a, I, I don't know if it was a private car or if it was an unmarked police yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. But it was not a cop car with, you know, with a, but they, the, the Arabs knew they were policemen and, and pulled them out of the cars and beat them, took their guns. It was, it was, it was a, it really was an ordeal. Yeah, but in, in, in the end is good. They they've been saved and yeah, it's okay. Yeah, they did. Okay, they weren't killed. Yeah, yeah. It's really dangerous. It's, it's, it's just getting worse and worse every, everywhere. Every day it goes on, goes on. Yeah. Iran at the beginning of the week stated that they are going to unplug the cameras that were put in place to be able to show that they are staying within the lines of the nuclear deal. Uh, the cameras are a joke, and this is just a power play to get even more out of Biden in a new in a new uh, nuclear deal. I'm mm -hmm. sure, you know, it's it's ridiculous. The, 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 we know we know that it's already been proven time and time again that they're not they're not, uh, they're not staying in line yeah. of the nuclear deals, exactly. and not meaning not going to make uh, nuclear weapons to try to uh, weapons of mass destruction and nuclear bombs and ICBMs and everything else. So we already know that they're doing it. We know that that's what their plans are. We know that they want to attack us and America and everyone else. But uh, it's just uh, it's just ridiculous that they're even making a joke about unplugging the cameras as if the uh, the, the cameras really? were actually doing anything, yeah, exactly. were showing actually what they were doing. Yeah. It really is a joke. It's all a joke. And if we don't all wake up and, and take care of this problem with Iran, America, Israel, and at, in all the Western world is going to be in big trouble if we don't take care of this problem with Iran. Yeah. Israel has had a really ste uh, step up their uh, intelligence to uh, stop Iranian from kidnapping uh, Jews abroad. It's really been a big, uh, big, big thing that Iran has been doing lately. The reason for this intense uprise in the desire to make the attack is because of Prime Minister Bennett's uh, speech last week where he uh, bragged about all the things that he's doing and attacking and taking care of Iran. You know, Israel's always had policies, especially with Iran, you know, sort of like the Cold War, right? You keep things quiet. You do what you got to do and you just, you just keep it going. You don't make a big ordeal about it to, to prove that how good you how yeah. good you are. Yeah. And I guess because of all the problems that he's having in the coalition and people and he's thinking maybe we're going back to the uh, to the elections here pretty soon. Maybe he's thinking that way he can get more votes because people yeah. might think, oh, look, he's taking care of business. Right. Yeah. And so to do that, he ended up putting Israeli lives in danger. You will do anything to stay in the coalition. Yeah, we'll get into that. Anything. We'll get into that. And that's very true. He even said it. But we'll get into that. On Saturday night at 4.30, a car driven by an Arab saw a police car with two officers on the side of the road. They weaved and hit the officers and another civilian car. They were able to kill an officer and run. 
They were caught later the next, that, that very following, few hours later in that morning. It really was a, a, a horrible ordeal. Here in Israel, uh, lots of times, police use volunteers. So you'll see a cop car where one's a cop and the other one's a volunteer. Yeah. And, um, and that was the situation here. The volunteer got killed, right? It was the volunteer yes, that got killed. Volunteer. And the police officer was in seriously injured. Yeah. I mean, it just goes to show you what, what they were on a car. They were in a car chase. It was a, basically what happened was is, is these Arabs had done something. I mean, all the all the information hasn't come out exactly yeah, yet. Yeah, as think. I heard, they were drunk yeah. and then, yeah. So the, it was just a, a police trying to t stop them, and so they started uh, speeding chase. away. So it turned into a police chase. So this cop car was chasing the the Arabs, and then these Arabs saw another co uh, traffic cop just sitting on the side of the road doing his job as well with this uh, uh, volunteer, and they purposely weaved over just to, to yeah. hit him and to kill him, and they were successful at it. Unfortunately, the second one was seriously injured. Very I serious. Say, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it's really it's really bad. At the beginning of the week, Syria released footage of the damage of the international airport in Damascus. Mm -hmm. This damage will take weeks to repair before the airport will be able to go back to work. This airstrike was to stop the non-stop supply chain of weapons from Iran to Hezbollah to attack Israel. Absolutely. That's what it was all about. And it's becoming a big deal now uh, because it was an international airport. Up until now, Israel attacked mainly the uh, uh, military airports and airfields and other things, but because that was what the, they were using to, uh, to fly back and forth this convoy of weapons. But now they're starting to use just regular civilian cargo planes and trying to, you know, put it in with the mail, right? So yeah. Israel, instead of attacking those planes like they do when it's a military plane, they, had, uh, they just decided to uh, take out the, the, the infrastructure so that they couldn't land and, and do it. Yeah. Right? In the meantime, I'm sure it was buying time to be able to get more intelligence and figure out a way to stop it in a different way. You know, Israel's always thinking yeah. 400 yeah. steps ahead. Working hard. Yeah. On Saturday night at 3 a.m., Arabs burnt down the entire central bus station in the city of Tzfat. Tzfat's a beautiful city. Uh, really picturesque uh, in the north of I Israel. Uh, they had come to uh, for protection, sort of like a mafia kind of thing, right? Uh, protection fees and then burnt the place down when they didn't get paid. Just like the mafia back in, you know, back in the days when the mafia was really up and mm -hmm. running strong where they come knock on your business, knock at your door and say, okay, give me uh, $500 a month so that I'll protect you, meaning so I that I burn won't you. burn your place I won't burn you. I won't, yeah. yeah this, we're talking about a government. This is, government, this is a central bus station. This is not a private business. Yeah. You know, this is it's government stuff. There's many things going on in the North with this thing, with the ma kind of mafia uh, taking protection money, and they don't give them, so they burn yeah, things. Absolutely. Every week we have burned. The last week they burned another bus. Uh, it was a private company. It was also a few buses, I think 17 buses was burned. It's a lot of money. It's a big thing for a company. Yeah, absolutely. So it's always, and the stores they burn, they always, uh, it's a big thing. The police have to step up and do something. Absolutely. In the north and in the south of this country, it, we've basically lost lost it. We've, we have, we'll have to fight and get it back as if we never had it. Uh, the Arabs are just out of control. Every week you hear us talking about how they're just, just literally out of control. Israel right now, right now, till today and tomorrow, hopefully only today and tomorrow, the medical uh, staffs, the doctors are on strike because of the, the problems Attacks. with the Arabs atta attacking. physically attacking them attacking. in the hospital when the doctor was not able to do exactly save. what, save or do save exactly that. what the, they wanted them to do. Yeah. Just the other day, uh, a, a woman doctor, you, you saw her head all busted open, blood everywhere, because the guy took a metal rod and just beat her over the head because she wasn't able, she didn't answer his questions the way he wanted them answered, right? It's, we're, we're, we really have lost control of the north and the south of this country. The Arabs have taken over, and it's time to buckle down and get it back. Get it back. It's the state of Israel. Yeah. God gave it to us, the chosen people. The, uh, the nation of Israel. President Biden is coming to visit next month. Yay! <laughs> his schedule's final. Now, this is, I don't know how much of his schedule as an American you know, but this is your, pre this is the president of the United States. You, you probably ought to be, know about it. 
He will first go to Saudi Arabia for a few days. Listen to this. Then he will come to Israel for a few hours. He'll be in the morning, leave in the evening. And then he'll finish up by spending a day in a place that he calls Palestine that does not exist. There is no state of Palestine. Yeah. That's his schedule. We're not first, we're not last, we're in the middle for just a couple hours. You know, that, that tells you everything right there. Exactly. I don't need to talk any more about it. Yeah. This is, yeah. You, you understand everything, I'm sure. Yeah. In the past two weeks, nearly a dozen men in important positions in the nuclear and weapons program in Iran have died under strange circumstances. It's so crazy. We talked about it. Do over circle. a dozen. It's an insane number. And, uh, and, and one fell off the balcony. Another one fell off the, 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 the fell downstairs. Another one, did, I don't know what's going on. Something's going on over there. And we don't, I'm sure Israeli intelligence knows a lot more than we know, but they're not letting us know for right now. Yeah. It's, uh, it really is a, it's a big, it's a, it's, something's going on. It's, it's, things are changing over there and let's see what it, what it happens. I mean, the only thing we can do is sit, wait and watch and come up with our own speculations. Yeah. Well, the past Monday marked one year point for the current uh, coalition. One of the Knesset members of Prime Minister Bennett's party was overheard saying that Bennett is doing everything he can to make it uh, at to, to no matter what it costs. <laughs> anyway, let me go back to say that again. He's doing everything he can to make it at least six more months, no matter what it costs. Uh, this is because he doesn't want to be the prime minister with the shortest term in the history of Israeli politics. So what you started talking about earlier is so true. He'll do anything to stay in office, and that's the reason. He don't want to be labeled the shortest term prime minister in history. That's very adult, adulterous. You know, yeah, that's it's very, very, yeah, adult. very adult way of looking at things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, nobody there thinking about our country. They're just thinking to stay in a position of power. Absolutely. That's all they think. All the coalition, everybody. The Arab side, the left side, the middle side. There's yeah. no middle side. They're all lefty, Absolutely. as I see it. And Bennett, of course, he just don't want to be the shortest term, you know, the one of the ter shortest term. Yeah. And um, it's just so sad. It is. It is sad. Uh, but we know who's in control. Thank God. And, uh, and we'll just... We're here for the ride, and yeah. when it's time to go home, we go home. Um, we started this off by telling you about something that happened in Turkey. It seriously sounds like a scene from a James Bond movie. I mean, it was, it's crazy. An Israeli family was on vacation in Istanbul in Turkey. Uh, while they were walking around the open market in the middle of the day, uh, 10 Israeli security agents pulled up in, a, in bulletproof cars and took them straight to the airport without going to the hotel to get their things. The family found out later that the Iranian terror cell was waiting to execute them as soon as they got back in the hotel. Uh, it, it really was. So basically what happened was they, their, their family, like us and the kids, walking around the open market, they got a phone call from Israeli Stay agents. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Don't move. Don't do anything. Minutes, mm -hmm. moments later, uh, pulled up like, you know, like out of a movie. Yeah. These yeah. armored cars and took them straight to the airport. And then uh, they took care of getting their stuff. Because yeah. they, they knew that these, this uh, uh, Iranian uh, terror cell was waiting for them in the hotel, most likely gonna go wait for them to go into their rooms and in their rooms, kill them, mm -hmm. just kill them. Mm -hmm. And that was the plan. Yeah. And Iran has been w wrapping, uh, ramping this up everywhere. It's in Thailand, now Argentina. Argentina. Yeah, it, everywhere Iran is trying their best. Like we talked about, it's because of Bennett's uh, uh, boasting of how he's taking care of uh, Iran, you know? Yeah. It is, it's really getting uh, out of hand. Iran and all this other stuff we're talking about with the Arabs here in the country. It's time to, it's time, it's time to, to buckle down. Yeah, I don't remember ever Israel give hot warning, like alarm, like don't go to Turkey. Now they do go, don't go to other countries too. Right. Like, they can't cancel the flights because it's a legal thing. They cannot do that right now. They're fighting for it, as I heard. But there's a legal thing that they cannot cancel the flights. But they say, whoever right now in, this, in Turkey, go home right now. Take a, take a, a, a flight home and don't go there. Yeah. Many Israelis already canceled the flights, as I heard. And I hope... All the other ones come, come home. Just come home, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, you got anything you want to add? 
<laughs> no, no, not today. No? <laughs> no, no. Well, uh, like we always say, that uh, if you feel like being a part of this ministries, all you got to do is go down below the videos, all of our videos, and there's links. There's two separate links, one to the Patreon and one to the Golden Report uh, support page. Or you can just type in in the internet, thegoldenreport.com, and go to the Support Us page on the website and find any way you feel that would be best for you to uh, be a part of this ministry and be part of helping the people here in the state of Israel. Well, God bless you all. Thank you so much for everything you do. And uh, don't forget to join us on thegoldenreport.com. Shabbat shalom. Until next time, God bless. <laughs>